This is Nevermore Moto, and today we're heading over to Graffiti Alley to talk about my Moto Storage Solutions. So motorcycle storage solutions are always kind of a funny thing. You're always going to have problems trying to fit more stuff on your bike. Now I think the Triumph Street Scrambler provides you with even more of a challenge because it has that high exhaust on the side. So normal things like saddlebags won't work. So you have to kind of get creative with things that you think are going to work for you to help you carry more stuff. Now these are just my solutions. I'm not saying it's the only way to do it. It's just things that I found are helpful for me. And I just wanted to share them with you. Now, backpack. Backpack is always a fine solution. Um, but if you're out on the bike for four or five hours, backpacks get old real quick. Plus, backpacks don't really regulate how stuff can sit. You know, if you're carrying food or or some other items with you, it doesn't always hold stuff where you want it to go. It'll flop around in the backpack, stuff can get jumbled up. Uh, so sometimes you just need other solutions. Um, solution one I found, uh, and this is a great item I think everybody should have, and that is this cargo net. Now cargo nets are great for carrying food because it keeps stuff strapped down, especially if you have a bench seat. Clip stuff down in place, I've held pieces, Package foods, there's a variety of ways to clip things on here. So I would say that would be solution one. Have a cargo net with you, and always have it with you. I always have mine with me. You never know what you're gonna have to end up carrying with you. And if it's something that needs to stay stationary in one place, cargo net is probably your best option. Solution two, side bag. Now, the side bags will hold just as much stuff as a backpack, but it doesn't have the stuff on your back. And what's nice about that is, is you don't have all that weight on your shoulders, especially if you're on a long ride. You can carry just as much stuff. And in order to achieve that, you need to purchase the Paneer Rack from Triumph. Um, now the one from Triumph is chrome, and it only comes in chrome. So I found this one on eBay that was already blacked out. I had to buy the pair. That was kind of annoying, um, but it was cheaper than buying the $50 Paneer Rack from Triumph and then having it powder coated. So if you want to have any kind of side bag on you, and a side bag is nice because it carries the same amount of stuff as a backpack, it just keeps it off your back. You have to have the pannier rack. But with having a pannier rack, you can also have a series of bags that either slide and lock in place or just sit on the rack itself. Now, motorcycle bags are expensive, so I found a cheaper solution. What I use is, it's a Rock Bros mountain biking bag. It's waterproof. It's 27 liters of carrying capacity. It has a roll up top that you can roll down, clip in place, keeps all your contents dry, has a bungee in the front, you can put a jacket in there, has a hard back to it, a carrying handle for when you get off the bike. And what's great is it has this locking mechanism. So what I do is I tuck this strap down, clip it in place, that center clip locks it so I can't pick it up and take it off the bike unless I flip the switch. And by having this strap go down below, just for extra protection, I can bring it back up and around, lock it to the bag, keeps it flat locked down, keeps the bag strapped to the pannier rack and it's a cheaper alternative than most of your motorcycle bags. I find most motorcycle bags run at least $100 plus, if not more. And yeah, they're going to look better. They're going to be made out of canvas or leather, but this is a nice waterproof bag. It has a hard back to it. it. Stays in place. I've had this bag for two years and it looks brand new still. It's a fantastic bag. And I think I paid $50 for it. Now my weird solution, and most people don't have this, but I highly recommend everyone have this. If you have a Triumph, 
there is a company called Dankai Customs. They make sissy bars. Sissy bars for tramps. Has a bars, has a bar that locks in place behind each shock, bolts there, and it uses the four bolt pattern on all your liquid cooled bikes to really screw that rack down. Now, once you have that rack, you can strap all kinds of goodies to it. It's a good backrest for a pillion. Not everybody's gonna like my solution. So, you know, I'm using a, uh, a mountain biking bag or I'm using, you know, a special custom rack. Not everybody wants to spend the money or, or not everybody wants a sissy bar on their Triumph motorcycle. Some people think it's a uh, horrible thing that I've done. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I think my sissy bar personally. Um, and so I think that's been the biggest game changer out of everything. I think it's just a cool company to work with too. It's all custom made. If you go to Denkai Customs, their sissy bars are all made to order. They come in small, medium, large. You can get the shelf on it or not have the shelf. I got the shelf because it's extra storage solutions. That's the whole point of the thing. And uh, takes about a month to get. Sturdy, powder coated. I love it. And once I got this sissy bar rack, I was now able to start shopping for Sissy Bar Bags. This is my Currieagan Vagabond Momentum Bag. Now this thing is massive. It holds all kinds of stuff on the inside, all kinds of mesh pockets that keep stuff organized and out of your way. Pocket on top, lots of pockets on the side, cup holders, shrink holders, and tons of mole straps that you can use to clip stuff to. I've had tents and sleeping bags, web strap to this. You can carry easily four to five days worth of stuff. It has a laptop slip in there if you want to keep electronics safe, iPads or laptops. I was able to buy this extra cushion so I have something to lean against if I have it strapped to the sissy bar. Now this thing takes you from a day out to a touring bag. Now, just a sissy bar is great alone because you can strap so many things to it, but having a piece of really integrated luggage has been a lifesaver. It really holds so much stuff, has so much room, so many pockets, and it's curated and thought of really well, specifically for motorcycles. It has a grab handle so you can take it like a piece of luggage. This thing, is amazing and holds so much stuff. So this is one of my other solutions when I'm taking a long trip. Now what's great about having the sissy bar is I can mount it both ways. If I mount it this way, I have a pad I can lean on. If I want more room or I have a passenger with me, I can mount the opposite way as well. And that is the beauty of having a sissy bar. Run of straps, it comes with a ton of straps. Boom, secure bag. So when it came to having the uh, Kuryagin bag, Kuryagin? Kuryagin. When it came to having the Kuryagin bag, um, I'll be honest, I didn't look at it until I got the sissy bar. It is specifically a sissy bar bag. Now, does that mean something like that is only good if you have a sissy bar? Absolutely not. That thing has so many tie-down points, and they give you so much webbing, you can strap any bike bag. Sorry, you can strap any bag to a bike. It just has a nice structure to it. It just has all the pockets and doodads to keep everything organized. And I think it's just curated really well, specifically for motorcycles that I just think it's structured really well. I love that. Yeah, and it certainly beats trying to stuff a weekend's worth of clothing into a backpack. It's always about the ability to go farther and take more with you. you know, the more you can take with you, the further you can travel. The more
more space you have to carry stuff, the more comfortable you're going to be on your adventure, you know? Being able to have a, a full-size tent versus a tarp. You know, having a full sleeping bag versus just a blanket. You know, every little bit makes huge differences. So if you're in a nice short trip, even a day trip, I highly recommend the side bags. If you're touring, taking a four or five day trip or a weekend out, going camping, I highly recommend not only this Kuryakin bag, but this sissy bar. It's really taken my ability from just going out for a day to making, you know, this scrambler a, you know, capable cross-country machine.